Okay, we're going to talk about this really cool case of cocaine levimosol toxicity. This was a 49-year-old male who presented with bilateral leg pain and sores. His past medical history was notable for asthma. He says this uh, clinical presentation started two weeks prior as a biting sensation in his legs, which became increasingly painful. He was seen at multiple urgent cares with no relief. He also endorses subjective fevers, but otherwise has a negative review of systems. He says he has never seen a dermatologist, has no derm history, and social history. He was sleeping in his car and had been abusing cocaine and tobacco recently. On physical exam, his blood pressure is slightly elevated, but he's otherwise stable. He is uncomfortable appearing and uh, writhing in the stretcher. And as you can see on the right, his bilateral lower extremities were covered with stellate ulcerated lesions with hyperpigmented borders, and then surrounded by some palpable violaceous papules and plaques. Workup in the emergency department was notable for uh, leukocytosis of about 16,000, sed rate of 29, C-reactive protein 2.5, and tox screen was positive for cocaine and marijuana. He had an x-ray of his legs, which were essentially normal, a CT scan, which was nonspecific with some subcutaneous edema. He had no blood clots. He was given antibiotics, and his pain was controlled, and he was admitted to the hospital for infectious disease and dermatology to see. Let's talk about the differential. This includes leukocytoclastic vasculitis, cocaine levimosol toxicity, arthropod hypersensitivity, and vitigo, livoid vasculopathy, bullous pemphigoid. And then let's talk about cocaine. Number two, illicit drug after cannabis, potent sympathomimetic, euphorogenic effects via the reward system or the limbic system, potent vasoconstrictor, which can cause heart attacks and strokes, and then sustained use can lead to neuropsychiatric and neurocognitive uh, sequela. Levimisole, uh, cocaine is often laced with this. It's an anti-helminthic. It was banned in the U.S. for medical use around 2000, but it is still used in most of the world and is a potent immunomodulatory uh, enhancer. It's used to cut cocaine because it's believed to enhance or amplify the effects. The theory is that it potentiates the nicotinic anticholinergic effects in the CNS. It's also physically similar, similar to cocaine, so it easily acts as a bulking agent. The DEA estimates that 87% of cocaine is cut with levimisole, and then the concentration is increasing from 1% in 2001 up to 10% of each sample in 2009. Toxic effects are notable, including agranulocytosis, cytosis, which is why it was pulled off the market, vasculitis, retiform purpura, arthralgias, and other forms and flavors of skin necrosis. In animal models, it's shown to have toxic effects to the CNS. And many of these side effects are known from patients being treated for malignancy. The case reports of levimazole-laced cocaine are limited. On clinical presentation, Hemorrhagic bulla or necrosis are one of the more common features favoring the face over the rest of the body. On the ear, on the right side of the screen, you can see hemorrhagic bulla of the external ear and then of the lower extremities as well. The pathogenesis is not well understood. Some patients have a vasculitis, some have a pseudovasculitis. Other symptoms include arthralgias, ENT complaints, and then nonspecific malaise and fatigue. Lab findings, uh, we started to discuss that, but also positive anti-nuclear antibodies, anti-proteinase 3 titers, and positive uh, perinuclear or cytoplasmic staining patterns. Treatment is a, uh, the condition is generally considered benign and self-limiting. It's mostly supportive. Definitely have to stop using cocaine as recurrence is common with re-exposure to levimisole. And patients presenting acutely with an undifferentiated rash typically will require workup antibiotics and admission for specialty consultation. In this case, infectious disease was seen. Uh, the cultures grew no organisms. Antibiotics were discontinued. The skin biopsy showed no evidence of vasculitis or any other primary dermatological condition. The patient was seen by nephrology for proteinuria and pedal edema, and the working diagnosis there was IgA nephropathy. Most of the nephrology work was pending when he was discharged. However, that did not really fit the clinical picture and the skin biopsy. So working diagnosis is cocaine, levimisole, toxicity. He was sent home on blood pressure control, told to stop using cocaine, uh, and did not follow up. So three key points about cocaine, levimisole, toxicity. Cocaine is almost always laced with this drug, right? We saw 90% of the time. Most patients present with hemorrhagic bulla or necrosis, and treatment is primarily supportive, and users must discontinue cocaine as recurrence is common.